Good afternoon. Sorry. Welcome to Divine Mercy Parish. We welcome those who are here in church and those who are joining us on YouTube and our website. I'm Elizabeth Rivera and my lector partner is Mary Kay Kidridge. Today we are celebrating the Feast of All Saints. As followers of Jesus Christ, we are called to be saints. Though not perfect, we model our lives following the eight Beatitudes, which is the Gospel reading today. Please stand and welcome our celebrant. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We come together today, we're connected to one another. We're connected to so many other people who will be viewing the Mass that we're recording. But also, we're connected to all of the saints. Notice before you leave today, the icons of various saints that are on the windowsills of the stained glass windows. Surrounded by the saints in the presence of our God, let us ask for mercy and kindness and forgiveness that we celebrate these great mysteries well. God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, 
only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Gathered as God's people, let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, by your gift, we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints. Bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. You are one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of these who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiping God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power and might. Be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up, and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The lords of the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it, for he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people 
reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall, what shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. After he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the king of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and other every kind of evil falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This evening is Halloween, and we also turn the clocks back one hour. Well, there'll be little in the way of traditional trick or treating. Turning back 
the clock's one hour will take place just as usual. And an extra hour of sleep for all of us will be so welcome. In the church, this weekend we celebrate the Feast of All Saints, honoring those holy men and women who have gone before us into eternal life and now live with God. But in a real sense, they are also still with us here. Wonderfully, today, and many of you probably watched, a priest of the Archdiocese of Hartford was beatified, Father Michael McGivney, the founder of the Knights of Columbus. Beatified and raised to the ranks of blessed. It is also the last weekend before our national elections. While Halloween, trick-or-treating, and even turning back the clocks one hour are welcome events, and the honoring of saints a blessing, we might all be fatigued by the election. But paying attention is a must. A few comments on the saints. We honor today those good people, some of whom we know, grandparents, maybe children, relatives, friends, colleagues, who have died, but now live in eternity with a gracious God, our Father, in Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. And we are connected to them through the understanding of the communion of saints. And they assist us, they help us, praying for us before our good and gracious God. Just as we are connected to family and friends here on earth, we are also connected to those saints who have gone before us in faith. The book of Revelation tells us about the saints, that there are 144,000 from every tribe of Israel, and a huge number, a great multitude of every race and people and tongue that no one can count. And they praise and worship God filled with blessing and glory wisdom and thanksgiving, honor and power. They have survived the great time of distress. How do we become saints? Jesus tells us in Matthew, be blessed with a spirit of poverty, trust in God. Live a life with humility and meekness. Show mercy. Hunger for a sense of doing what is right and true and good. Be a peacemaker. Be aware of your own sadness, to be sure, when you mourn. But find comfort and solace in human friendship, connected to those who have gone before us in eternal life, and in the solace of God. In this way, we will come to know the closeness and the depth of God's love, that we too can become blessed and holy and saints. A few comments about the election and voting. 
how important it is for us to vote as citizens of the United States of America. But, has so often been said, be informed when you vote. Read, listen, learn. What are the issues? As the document, Faithful Citizenship, teaches us, we must know what is important to us as Catholics. We must form our conscience by a virtue of pro pro providence, of prudence, excuse me, because no candidate is perfect. No candidate will fulfill all our hopes, all our needs, but we must strive to use this virtue of prudence in casting our ballots. Issues of life are foundational and fundamental for us when considering a person to vote for. How will all lives be honored, respected, given dignity, included in our society, in the person who is president? From the very moment of conception, through early years of life and good education, through health care issues even until old age, freedom from all violence, with a safe place to live as a family unit. Within one's homeland or a newly adopted homeland, to care for all people and our surroundings. Consider these things when you are deciding who you will vote for to lead our country. Some may have voter fatigue, as well as coronavirus fatigue. But voting is a right and a duty as a citizen of our country. May we stay focused and fulfill that right. And may the saints who surround us inspire us to live lives that show deep care and respect for everyone. Together we profess what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made consubstantial from the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, men, of our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead 
and the life of the world to come. Amen. The saints in heaven intercede for us. May our gracious God hear these prayers. That the church draw the strength, courage, and perseverance shown by all the saints who have gone before us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all leaders throughout the world and the leaders of our country who will be elected this week to work for the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor in spirit, for the meek, for those who mourn, for peacemakers, may they receive the reward of their goodness in following Jesus' commands. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering from the coronavirus, may they be healed and may their families have hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Lynn, who is to be baptized tomorrow. May God bless him and his family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, for those who have died by violence, for those suffering from natural disasters, for those who suffer religious persecution, especially Christians in Middle East countries, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of our parish who are sick and hospitalized, those who are confined to home and can no longer worship with us, and for those who have died, Maria Borges, Joan Carlson, Kathy Thorpe, and today's Mass being offered for it, Alice Papazian de Ferber, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own personal attentions, those written in the Book of Hope, and all those on the angel prayer line, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy, loving God and Father, you are with us always. Hear our prayers, which we join to the saints. Grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to the Lord our God. May these offerings we bring in honor of the, all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord our God, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Be with Lift up your hearts. 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our sisters and brothers already gives you eternal praise. Towards her we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon them, those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord our God, and all and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of your Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord our God, we humbly implore you, by your Holy Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the same way, when the supper was ended. He took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, Lord our God, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, Leonard, our Bishop, all the bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have gathered before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed sisters and brothers, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For through him and with him and in him, all in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. hope and in thanksgiving, we pray in the words that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from all that is evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the Church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Oh
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we adore you, O Lord our God, who alone are holy and and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly home. We ask this through Christ our Lord. So, a few things um, this evening. Monday evening, we will have a special Mass for All Souls Day. Um, It is the Mass, it will be at 7 o'clock in the evening. It will be the Mass in which we remember all of our deceased from this past year. And they have received a special invitation at home. But everyone is welcome to come to that Mass at 7 o'clock. And we're also going to try to live stream it. So we'll see how that goes. And on Tuesday, if you have not voted yet, please vote on Tuesday. On Thursday evening, we'll have a special presentation on the saints. Um, uh, We ask that you can to join us in person. It will take place downstairs in the chapel. It will be at 7 o'clock. We're going to live stream that also, so watch for that. Um, and you may see it on our website, Advertise, or, or through um, YouTube or Facebook. I'm not sure how it's going to get out. Um, by the bulletins today, there's the flyer that we had in the bulletin last week uh, for our food collection for Thanksgiving. Uh, that will not take place in church, so please uh, read over the details. And it's um, organized by the Columbiettes and the Knights of Columbus. Oh, did I say be sure to vote on Tuesday if you haven't voted yet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Friday is First Friday, um, and uh, we'll have adoration during the day. That adoration will actually begin at 10 o'clock in the morning because the school community will be here for Mass at 9, and then the rosary will be at 5 o'clock in the evening Um, But that's this coming Friday, first Friday. And there are other things in the book, in the bulletin, so please take one home to read. And if you're going out trick-or-treating, mask, hmm, be safe, stay distant, stay home. (laughs) The Lord be with you. May our gracious God bless us. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, other evil spirits, prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. And be sure to notice the icons on the windowsills. Have an enjoyable evening. Thank you.